Hi, glad you're here. Welcome to SureForm's YouTube destination. Today, let's explore one of the most loved form type in recent time, multi-step forms. It is said that multi-step forms can increase form conversion by up to three times than regular forms. So let's get into how you can build one for yourself. We'll be using SureForms in this tutorial. So if you haven't installed and activated the plugin yet, you'll need to do that first. If you already have SureForms installed, cool. Let's start then. First, go to SureForms. Then click on Create New Form. Next, two options will appear. Let's go with the easiest option and build with AI. But if you prefer, you can always build the form from scratch too. On the next page, you'll need to enter a prompt describing the kind of form you want. After writing the prompt, click on Generate Form and let SureForms AI do its magic. After a few seconds, your form will be ready with the necessary fields. You can then make any edits you need to match your requirements. For example, you can rearrange any fields by just drag and dropping. Or you can also customize the form by adding or removing fields to suit your needs. Make sure to rename the title of the fields as you see fit. After customizing the form, let's just publish the form to see how it looks. Hmm, the form looks really long and a bit uninspiring. Just seeing it might make people feel discouraged to fill out, like it's going to take a lot of time. Let's do something about this. Instead of one long form, we'll try breaking it up into smaller steps. It's really simple to turn your form into a multi-step one using SureForms. There's a block called Page Break that you just drag and drop wherever you want the form to split into the next step. Keep in mind that this block is only available with SureForms Premium Plans. I will put a link in the description to check out the Premium Plans of SureForms. So let's try it out. We'll group two or three similar questions together. Then insert a Page Break block to start a new step in the form. Great. Once you're happy with how the form is divided into steps, let's just save it and see how it feels. Now you can see the form is split into several steps rather than one long and overwhelming form. This already feels less tiring since users can fill out the form in bite-sized steps instead of seeing everything at once. We can further customize each step to make the form more user-friendly and informative. Let's take a look at what customizations we can apply to the steps. To do that, we'll need to go to the general settings under the form options in the right sidebar. There under the page break dropdown, you'll find options to customize the steps. From here, you can set a label for the first page depending on the steps questions. This will appear as the name of the first step in the form. Also, you can choose how you want to show the progress of the steps from the progress indicator. You can even change what the next and back buttons say right from here. SureForms even lets you customize the page break label. This will appear as the name of the specific step it leads to. Just double click the label and give it a name that fits the questions coming up in that step. You can do it for all the steps you created. After renaming the labels, make sure to turn on the toggle that says Show Labels on the right sidebar. If you don't want to show the labels, you can keep it off. Just reloading the page to see the changes. So if you choose to show the labels, this is how the labels would look like. The next labels will appear as the names you just set on the page break labels. working just as expected. But we can take it a step further by customizing the form in SureForms using conditional logic. This allows fields to appear based on the answers the user provides. That way users only see the fields that matter to them, making the form feel even shorter and less tiring. To do this, on the editor, select the field you want to put condition to. Then go to advanced on the right sidebar and turn on the enable conditional logic toggle. Now from the configure condition option, we will need to set the rules. 
In this case, I'm setting a rule to show the question asking for details of any previous participation, only if the user answered yes to the previous question about participating in a math Olympiad before. All right, let's save the form and see how it works. In this case, the next question should only show up if I choose yes here. Cool, working just fine. Now, how about we make the form more visually appealing? Let's edit the colors and background to enhance the look. For this, click on Instant Form button on the top right. From there, we can add a welcome screen that shows up at the very start of the form. We can set a custom heading for the welcome screen, and we can also display a personalized message. We also have the option to add a welcome screen image. Here you can upload your logo or something similar. Great, there are also lots of styling options here. You can check those out. Now, let's add a background image for the form too. There is option to add color or an image in the banner background. Let's go with the image option for this form. All you have to do is pick or upload an image. You can show it as a banner or make it the full page background. Totally up to you. But I like the full page option. There are also additional styling options available in the style tab on the right sidebar. Feel free to explore them. Let's save the form and find out how the form looks now. Oh, nice. I like the look of the form now. You can take your time here and show your creativity with better styling. Let's fill up the form again and find out how it feels like. Way better than a regular form. Oh, you can even customize this ending message in sure forms. Let's do it too. For that, go to General tab on the right sidebar from the editor. If you scroll down, you will find a form confirmation option. From there, you can set the message you want to show at the ending. After that, just close the tab and hit on Save. Just a random idea. If you want, you can turn the form into a conversational style by simply adding a page break after each question. In case you are new to the idea, a conversational form shows one question at a time, kind of like a chat, making it feel more engaging than a regular form. But instead of going through this lengthy process, SureForms makes it super easy to create a conversational form. All you have to do is enable one option. If you're interested, check out the video linked in the top right corner of the screen to know more about conversational forms. Now, let's get back to our main topic. After finishing creating your multi-step form, you can make it online instantly using the Instant Form feature in SureForms. Instant Forms lets you publish forms directly as a shareable URL, saving you the hassle of creating a page to embed it on a web page. To know more about the Instant Form, check the link in the description. If you want to embed the form in a page, that's easy too. You just need to go to the page where you want to embed the form. Then, search for the form block. Once you add the block, just use the drop-down to pick the form you want to show. You can quickly preview to make sure you picked the right form. Looks good? Just hit save and you're done. Now, if you decide to embed the form, you'll want to style the page a bit to make it look nice. So we're done. See? Making a multi-step form isn't as tricky as it sounds, and it makes the whole experience way better for users. Make sure to subscribe to SureForms for more helpful tutorials like this one.